Philippine Politics and Governance, Lesson 5, Historical Background of Philippine Democratic Politics, Part 3. Heron Stories Like, Subscribe, Click the Notification Bell this is the American colonization of the Philippines. Famous American Governor General Wesley Merritt, the first American military Governor General of the Philippines. William Howard Taft, the first American Governor General. Frank Harrison, 96% of his government officials are Filipinos. Leonard Wood, the best men in the Philippines are women. Dwight Davis, a sports-minded governor general. He is the founder of the Davis Cup in tennis. Frank Murphy, the last American governor general. The establishment of civil government. Two commissions sent by U.S. government to study political conditions in the Philippines. Their goal is to propose legislations and reform and organize a civil government. The first Philippine Commission. This was headed by Jacob Sherman. They conducted survey of the country. Commission met with the members of the Filipino elite and representatives of Aguinaldo government. Not to exploit but to help Philippines develop and establish a democratic government. Second Philippine Commission, headed by William Howard Taft, took both executive and legislative tasks of the colonial government in the Philippines acquired services of Filipino elites in several aspects and branches of the government, appointed to the Philippine Commissions Trinidad Pardo de Tavera, Benito Ligarda, Jose de los Uriaga, and Cayetano Arellano. Philippine Organic Act of 1902 End of Filipino-American War Defined a temporary civil government for the islands, it created a bicameral legislature with a popularly elected lower house and a commission of the presidentially appointed members that acted like a senate. It also designated the appointment of two resident commissions as non-voting delegates to the U.S. House of Representatives. Act No. 82, the Municipal Code and the Provincial Government Act. A general act for the organization of municipal governments in the Philippine Islands. Filipinos were granted the power to govern provinces, reorganization of provincial government. Act No. 83 A general act for the organization of the provincial governments in the Philippine Islands. Reorganization of municipal government. Filipinos are encouraged to participate in the local government unit. The former generals of the First Republic became the first provincial governor of their home provinces. Filipinization and the Road to Independence Filipinization, it has led to the rise of the Filipino politicians such as Sergio Esmeña, Manuel Quezon, and Manuel Rojas. Philippine Autonomy Act of 1916 or Jones Law also known as the Jones Act, the Philippine Autonomy Act, and the Act of Congress of August 29, 1916 was an organic act passed by the United States Congress. The Jones Law created the first fully elected bicameral Philippine legislature. When we say bicameral, ibig sabihin dalawa siya. So we have the House of Representatives and the Senate. House of Representatives are from the electoral districts, while the Senate has 24 senators from 12 regions of the Philippines, plus two from non-Christian communities appointed by the Governor General. Executive branch is led by the Governor General, assisted by a cabinet mostly of Filipino officials. Philippine Independent Acts Here Hall's Cutting Act First Law of Philippine Independence the bill was passed by the Senate in December 1932 but was vetoed by President Herbert Hoover. Congress promptly overrode his veto and the bill became a law on January 17, 
1933. The act, however, required approval by the Philippine Senate. Manuel Quezon led the campaign against the bill because of provisions in it that allowed the indefinite retention of U.S. military bases in the islands. The Hair Horse Cutting Act was rejected. Tidings Macduffie Law This is officially the Philippine Independence Act. This is the creation of Commonwealth, a transition to independence for 10 years. 1935 Philippine Constitution and Philippine Commonwealth The creation of Constitutional Convention led by Claro M. Recto with 202 delegates, recognized and supported by the U.S. Peace, progress, and eventually possibility of full independence from the U.S. Approved by U.S. President Franklin Roosevelt, ratified by a plebiscite. The executive, presidential system, six-year term without re-election. Judiciary, Supreme Court and the lower court. Legislative, unicameral, representative for each province. Then, later became bicameral with Senate and House of Representatives. Provided Bill of Rights, Check and Balances. A resident commissioner was appointed by the Philippine president to represent Philippine interests in the U.S. Congress. September 17, 1935, the first national election in the Philippines. President was Manuel Quezon and the vice president was Sergio Osmeña. Notable changes. Quezon City became the capital of the Philippines. Tagalog was the national language. There was nationhood and national homogeneity and women's suffrage. For senior high school students, especially Yums, this is the 1987 Philippine Constitution Preamble. We, the sovereign Filipino people, imploring the aid of Almighty God in order to build a just and humane society and establish a government that shall embody our ideals and aspirations, promote the common good, conserve and develop our patrimony, and secure to ourselves and our posterity the blessings of independence and democracy under the rule of law and a regime of truth, justice, freedom, love, equality, and peace. Do ordain and promulgate this constitution. That's it for Lesson 5 for Historical Background of the Philippine Democratic Politics. So watch out for Lesson 6. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe and also hit the notification bell for updates. And I'll see you again on my next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. And